you think darkness is your ally, but you merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. What's up, folks? I'm Ion, your Broccoli, and welcome. And it has been quite a long day for me. It is 5.41 in the evening. Just got off work a little while ago. And wow, it's been, uh, it's been a wild day. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and say thank you to everyone who supported my commentary yesterday. It really means a lot to me. A lot of the comments really made me laugh. Really made me uh, feel good about doing these. I really wasn't expecting the Bob Ross comment, the Godly Voice comment, and Betty White. Betty White. I don't know. I dig it though. I love all the feedback, all the positivity. It's definitely very nice to see. And what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is standards. How do standards play a part in Call of Duty making montages and episodes? And the gameplay you're watching in the background, for your information, is Cobra BE, one of our players. He, uh, he got this gameplay for me and sent it to me because the other day I was sitting here and I'm like, man, I don't have any gameplays. You know, I don't record for them. And last night I was going to try and get a gameplay and my Elgato was messing up. It was turning off and he was giving me black screens and all this different mess and you know I'm sitting here and I'm like man what am I gonna do how am I gonna do a commentary if I have no gameplay so Cobra sent me this and yeah big props to him thank you for doing that for me bud but moving back on topic I wanted to talk about these standards and um, you know just my thoughts on them and how, you know how they kinda play a part in making montages and things. I'm going to go ahead and say that each standard that you see on YouTube, whether it's for a team, whether it's for an individual, a lot of them vary, which they should. I don't think that there should be one standard that exists for everyone that everyone must adhere to. It just doesn't make sense. Because everyone has varying levels of skills and amount of time that they've invested in Call of Duty titles and not everybody is going to play the same. You're just not going to see it. I wouldn't expect anybody to start sniping last week and be hitting five and six mans and seven mans and quads and all this other stuff. It's just a natural progression of skill and um, just getting better over time until you develop those things. So, for Call of Duty standards, I mean, let me break it down, right? We've started with the original Call of Duty titles. We've progressed on to, you know, World at War titles and, and Black Ops and Modern Warfare. And they've all changed, you know. we The same standards that we have today aren't the ones that we started with, you know. I mean, people will get better the games change over time, you know, the, the sniper rifles, you shoot faster with them, this, that, the other. Montages of, of yesterday had, you know, bounces and double and triple feeds and no scopes across the map. And all those things were very entertaining at their time. And even today, I, I don't mind watching those types of things. Um, because I, I think it kind of brings it back to the old school where those things were appreciated and even though we know that watching somebody get a double or triple feed isn't necessarily the most entertaining thing i think there's some things that you can take away from it each person has their own individual standard that they should set for themselves i don't think it's safe to apply a standard that somebody in phase or somebody in a large team and one of their best players has. I don't think it's safe to apply the same standard to yourself. Is it okay to? I guess it kind of depends on the player. You should set realistic goals for yourself, though. You shouldn't say that I'm only going to make an episode of five men on screens and above when you can't even hit those. 
You know, you got to be realistic with yourself. And I think that's where a lot of people lose motivation or they lose interest because they say, man, I have to, I have to go out and make episodes like this guy, or I have to go out and do things that this team is doing in order to be relevant and get noticed and get known and all this other randomness. I think you got to take it back to the basics. You have to bring it back to you're playing a video game. You're making videos to entertain people. You should be doing this for fun. It shouldn't be a stressful thing where you get on and the only thing you want to do after five minutes is get off. You should be playing to have fun. And obviously, you know, there's a competitive nature that that's, resides within everybody. You're going to want to go out and, and hit clips and all this stuff. That's totally understandable. But you got to remember that at the end of the day, this should all be fun. You shouldn't be stressing out over it. Because it is just a game. And every game, as you know, has those little minute things that will drive you absolutely insane. Whether it's EMP grenades, Last Stand, Juggernaut, um, whatever. There's a plethora of them. But try to ignore those. You know, try to be positive. Try to have a different outlook on, on playing and having fun. I think it's important. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for today, folks. I want to go ahead and uh, say thank you if you are still listening to this thing. And huge props to Cobra for providing the gameplay and going 53-12 and 12 in this game. If you have any questions, concerns, or opinions, please leave them in the comment box below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you.